So I just installed every single driver released for the NVIDIA 50 series GPUs and tested them across 10 of the most popular games right now. We're talking about Battlefield 6, Ark Raiders, CS2, Valorant, Fortnite, and much, much more. But here's the deal. We all know how bad the initial driver releases were, so the question is, are they any better now? People tend to think that newer means better, but unfortunately that's not always the case. Newer games kinda suck. Every new Windows update seems to be worse and more pointless than the last. Then you have drivers making your monitor flicker while causing your game to feel absolutely disgusting. You get the point. This is why I ran nearly 200 benchmarks while keeping things consistent. Fresh windows, stock bios, and default game settings with no frame rate caps. I also did a clean driver installation with DDU after every benchmark and made sure there are no background apps that can possibly interfere with the results. And after spending over 60 hours working on our previous video, YouTube has generously rewarded me with 11 pounds and 38 pence. That's about 19 cents an hour. So yeah, this video is officially brought to you by Surfshark. Surfshark keeps you secure online and ensures your connection stays private, so whatever you do remains your business and nobody else's. And if you travel or live somewhere where half the internet's blocked, you can still reach your favorite sites with over 3,000 servers in 100 countries. Plus their alternative ID feature gives you a whole new online identity, so your real name, address, and email can stay completely protected. And the best part about it? It only takes a few clicks. Surfshark is also not just a VPN. It offers many other features focused on keeping you safe online at all times. For example, it can notify you when your accounts have been in a data breach, so you can take action immediately to protect them before your information potentially gets stolen. Click the link in the description and use my code FRAMESYNC at checkout to get an exclusive discount plus 4 extra months free. And for your peace of mind, they offer 30 days money back guarantee, so it's risk free to try. Now let's see the benchmark results for all games starting off with PUBG. All drivers saw a gradual increase here, with 581.57 performing slightly better than the rest. When it comes to 1% lows, 581.42 took the crown with slightly more frames per second than the previous winner. In Arc Raiders, some drivers didn't seem to work for me, but out of those that did, 572.83 and 572.70 got the best average FPS. For 1% lows, it turned out that 572.83 came out on top again as the definite best driver for Arc Raiders. In Counter-Strike 2, most of the drivers performed similarly with a few exceptions. For average FPS, 576.80 came out as the winner, and for 1% lows, we saw 581.42 almost getting tied to the next four drivers. In Battlefield 6, only 9 out of the 20 drivers actually worked, while the rest couldn't even launch the game, but version 581.42 placed first on both average FPS and 1% lows. Rainbow Six Siege, on the other hand, didn't see much of a difference, so you should be good to go with literally any of the newer drivers. Marvel Rivals was no different, but this time it seemed that the older drivers performed slightly better, especially version 576.02. And when it comes to Valorant, driver version 580.88 turned out to be the best overall, with the newest NVIDIA driver underperforming a little for some reason. In Fortnite, version 581.29 absolutely crushed everything else and performed the best overall. The finals didn't see such a drastic increase, but in my opinion, if you stick to any driver version starting with 581, you should be perfectly fine. Apex Legends has a 300 FPS cap, so I only added it because you guys asked me to, but as you can see, there wasn't much of a difference, if any at all. And one last thing I wanted to show you guys is the latency of each driver. Keep in mind, the readings are in microseconds, so the difference here is tiny. We're talking less than a millisecond. However, if you're like me and are trying to literally shave off every single point one millisecond off your setup, this might be helpful. Anyway, I hope this video helped you guys, or at least made you stop guessing if you're leaving massive performance on the table, because you're not. I've also fully debloated the winning drivers for each game, which you can grab from our Discord by clicking the link in the pinned comment below. 
You can also visit us at framesyncLabs.com if you're a serious competitive player who's looking to get their PC professionally optimized. See you in the next one, guys.